Welcome back to learning how to play Age of Wonders 4 as we play and we have just defeated one of our enemies and uh, well we are threatened by the second one that kind of propped up out of more or less nowhere well to my feeling anyway um, all of our lines have been broken so let's see what we can do we're, we're kind of running low on most resources really uh, Berkshire is well hidden away from, from any enemy influence, so we might want to invest some in the defenses, but not too much. So instead, we are going to boost this up, and we currently we are in dire need of, of money, so we will go for any money type building that we can get our hands on. And maybe a stonemason just so production speeds up slightly here but we need to conserve our resources still because um, well, as I said the enemy while leaving right now is still very much a presence though we have brought a hero to help defend this and if they're still here if some of them are still on our coastline uh, in the next turn we will most definitely go and attack them. Hornwood which is a remnant of the destroyed Godia uh, will be working with us, I think, soon, I hope. A war has ended, uh, so Scorheim doesn't hate us anymore, which is, which is nice, as we ended the war with blue. Our domain has been invaded, we are very aware, and uh, we shall continue. Okay, uh, they're still on our shores, there are some pockets here, which we will be quite capable of attacking. I don't like them pooling around that underground passage. That's suboptimal. Okay, I think this is just a scout. So we'll definitely kill that. No problem. Now, question is, can we attack them here from... No, that's uh, cost us two turns to reach. Um, we might be able to make some noise over here if we can bring all of our armies over there which we are capable of doing so we'll position ourselves let's check is there any hero or anything dangerous in these armies not as far as i can tell so this army and all the others here should be fairly capable of dealing with them so we'll just bunch up and where would they come out here is this where they would come out no, it isn't. Where Where is this passage going? It's up here, over there. Where is it going? It's going here. Which doesn't really help them all that much, I think. I don't know. We're going to lose this in a turn. Our quest, but it's fine. Well, I don't really know or care why they might want to go there. They they, they could go on ships, but they would still run into these armies here. Or rather, we would run into them. Okay, we'll just move up a bit. Other way, they are ahead of us. Pretty much. Alright. New Empire Development Skill available. Which would that be? I don't see there. It would be this one. Um, research city structures, 50% less. Uh, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're going to unlock us another city cap. Because when we go to war against him, we might want to absorb and take on another of his cities. So, this is what will happen eventually. We are in desperate need of mana still, so we will be trading for it and not cast any spells, so sadly. So let's check through our friend-ish people. And hope that they might be willing or capable of giving us mana. We receive 14 for 10 turns. That is a trade we're taking, absolutely. Thank you. Costs us some mana, uh, money, but that's okay. Do you have any mana for us on on a turn basis? Maybe 
Yeah, but we don't have the gold for that. Um, what are you willing to... Oh, that's steep. Okay, that's not ideal. Not really what we want or need. Will you be willing to give us some mana? We were fairly decent on that. It's a one-to-one -one trade. We'll take it. So we're just staving off the starvation on the mana end here. And again, this is uh, still the end of our turn. So we'll have to turn and see what these do now. Maybe they attack. Okay, no, they... Okay, interesting. So one army goes away. And the others are turning, but... Yep. So this should be fine for us. Very fine. Destroying... A fairly large army of his, losing only one knight in the process and leveling up our hero. Very good. Let's take care of that. And she gets fighting too, I think. All right. Uh, now we'll have to heavily invest in rebuilding all this. We want the mines back. We want this back. Also, we want really everything back, and I think we can afford it. So we'll just do that. Let me camp. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Uh, there they are again. Invading from the south now. So we'll move our army over there. To try and fend them off on this front. And we'll keep moving our troops underground. Slowly forward. There isn't... Wait, can we... Can we go on ship down here? Could we just attack this over there? And then go for his... Uh, we might try this? I don't know. Can we go on water here? Sadly, that takes a whole bunch of turns to do. So it is not ideal in any way, shape or form. Berkshire can annex another province. Good stuff. And so we shall. Already have the Howling Castle. I wanted to go for things on the coastline that have a little bit of an upgrade to them. Which we can't really get because the upgrades are sort of locked. Pretty much. There's some pastures here. Do we need growth? Growth we have plenty. I think we need some more other things. Um, so yeah, let's get a forester here. Alright, what armies are we looking at? What is this? No hero, no hero, no hero. Where is his hero? That was a good question. Why oh, is just pillaging through our lands? I'm not a fan of that, as you might imagine. And we will try and see if we can't push them back out as soon as possible. So we'll just move our armies as far as we can. And now we check on the ground if we can't cross over. We can definitely go to water here. And we'll use two armies for that. And the other one... I don't know how much resistance might be down here so we'll we'll try with all of them okay yeah it doesn't really matter let's go for this combat spell we're still not great on mana let's see if she trades us some on a decent price yeah it's a good enough price for us Okay, the blue leader just died again. I feel like I want an army or two here. Just something. So let's set an iron golem. Just so there's something there. And not entirely nothing. Alright. So I'm not sending my main army here. Because the auxiliary army that we have will be enough to keep these away. To just push them off and, and hurt them slightly. As we do. So that's good enough for me. 
at this point in time. Definitely should replenish our troops eventually, but for now we're going to save up a little bit. Because we're going to have to rebuild all this, which, well, doesn't come free, as you might imagine. So now we can use our armies down here. Land. And on the next turn we can attack Cinderholt and then work down on Harper Town. Didn't really want to go sub Terran, but, well, sometimes it's what it is, isn't it? So all these will just stay here. What could we build here? Arts and fortifications. Since it's slightly away of everything, I feel that might be a good idea. Though a granary would be cool too. It's just one turn and it's affordable. Let's start with a the granary then. Um, the power to vassalize. Uh, okay. Right, are you about to vassalize these boys? Is, is Cinderhold this? No, Cinderhold isn't historic. Who are you about to vassalize? Hornwood. Ah. Uh, I am confused how they overtook us. I really don't understand that, but okay, there there it is. There it is. Oh boy, their city is 21 big. Ours is 16 big. That's Okay, we have a new rally. I was go going to in uh, reinforce our allies, but well, we will just build ourselves an army. I believe, but we need to make sure that we don't get all the magic uh, upkeep people here. So, honestly, they all got magic upkeep. War Shaman, it's the most affordable for us. Some Ogres and a Fury. Nah. Let's just get this. Uh, what else can we do? Can we build something that doesn't cost us mana upkeep? No, the higher units all need mana. Can we build something that gives us mana? Maybe. Smith's Guild? No, not really. Come on, anything that gives us mana, please. Money, 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 but no mana. I mean, the Chrono Gate for each adjacent thingy, but... We don't really have any of those, so we'll just... We'll build that, and just build it close, and pretend that's a good idea. That's a good way to spend our resources. We could buy, or rather build, some low-level units that cost us... Still magic upkeep. Oh, right, that's for all the enchantments that we have. Let's build a few bannermen. They don't they don't cost us upkeep. Only gold. Alright. Whispering Stone has returned. Yes, thanks to the free city being mean to us. We're losing a whole bunch of mana, I believe, down here as well, because we lost this thing. Oh no, that, that doesn't give us mana. But didn't we have like conduits here? Are they aren't they destroying conduits? Wasn't that no. Oh, I was pff, oh. Why was I thinking that? I don't know. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, still no heroes here. So these armies are quite vulnerable, honestly. I don't know why he's not moving them. Magical fruit infusion. Ah. Uh, uh. Let's go with this because we can't afford anything else. The fruits taste magical. They go bonded vassalage immediately. And we get food. Infusing plants with magic is my favorite pastime. So let's hope for 80% on the good end. Good. So that worked out. We got all the good stuff without having to pay mana. Let's talk to her before she hates us again to buy some more mana. Thank you. Goodbye. And, all right, let's do some battling here. This will be fine. Okay, 
lost a little bit of units, but that's okay. That just means we can combine our armies. <laughs> and could we? Yeah, we can definitely attack this army down there as well. So we clean him out slightly. Very good. Very good indeed. So this army is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And now we can send these guys in here. And see how he reacts to that. You will just stand there and defend. Man, these enemies are growing. Okay, you produced your granary. Could, why can't we build this? It needs a conduit. Is there anywhere we could build a conduit? Yes, we can replace this with a conduit. So we will do this. We don't need the research post, we need the conduit. So that's what we're gonna do. You built a shipyard. Anything here we can do? Tithrine, yes. Costs us little, takes a while, but this is what we need at the moment. Quite a focus crystal. Negotiations have succeeded. Why did we... Are you... Are you managing yourself? Yes, you are. No, you're not. Why did we get this? What? That's a little bit confusing. I don't know why we just expanded here. Couldn't tell you. Alrighty. So they have their outpost here. Still no hero in there. I don't know where his heroes are. He definitely has them. Uh, let's check how we stack up against him currently. Or also, something very important, how to get items. You go and sell the remains of your enemies. That's basically how you get items. They usually have some, you don't. Uh, so, selling them. Okay, she doesn't have anything, but... Since we could get some mana out of them if we built a crypt. That way we could get some stuff. It's really the only way for us to get some stuff. Okay, let's start rebuilding. Well, it's all we can do for rebuilding. And we definitely want to switch this out for a conduit. We need conduits, people. We do not need farms. Okay. Flourishing vassalage with these boys down here. I am somewhat confident in the safety of this place but only somewhat so let's keep moving and let's watch over land what's going on there oh uh cinder hold is attacking us so we'll do auto combat there ah! yep that didn't go the way they wanted but they killed an iron defender of ours which, in the end, isn't too bad. Everything we lose right now reduces our our upkeep, really. So, okay. Um, we'll start this. Add a siege project or two. We want the battlements broken. And we'll also undermine the walls. We could build the bolt repeaters. And we'll, I think, I think we'll splurge a little bit. And... Okay, fine. We can't move in here. It's okay. Orders required. Yeah, is that a hero now? Nope. Still no heroes in sight. Okay. I don't see an enemy anywhere here close by, so we're just going to assault this outpost of theirs. Can we move far enough with everything? Yes, we can. So we'll move these troops up, and then we'll move these troops up. But we don't really have any money for siege proje projects, so that's not ideal. And do we lack some troops here? No, we don't. But downstairs we do. We could send... Ah, we'll just have them sit there and have them sit there as well until we know where we need necessarily need new troops, I think. All right, so we, we definitely would need some conduits, but there's nowhere for us to get conduits. We could work our way this way to eventually get the silver pond, which hasn't been taken, which is kind of odd. So we'll take the we'll take the fishery here. A hero leveled up. Okay, 
good stuff. And you don't need archery, you need fighting. I'm very simple with these things, honestly. Spells ready to cast, yet yeah, we still can't really afford it. Empire skills, let's see. Ooh, something new has an unlocked indeed. Instantly gain 2,000 gold, that's something. City structures cost 20% less gold to build, that's very something. Cities gain plus 5 mana for each resource node in their domain. I'm sorry, but this is the one we take, even though we got some really interesting options here. Look at that, we are at minus 3, we are now at plus 109. There we go, okay, the mana draught is over, meaning we can go ahead, straight ahead, and uh, reinforce our troops, which I think... Let's summon a wild animal on, on this army here. Let's do that. They got a little spider boy. Okay, that's good. All right, all right, okay. Not too shabby at this very moment. Not too shabby. We're we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Uh, I wanted to check where we stand in the overall placing on military ranking. And we are currently the top dog on that. These are armies of his vassals so they're not they're not gonna come for us unless he moves his own armies we are quite safe from his troops so this will take three turns to finish up that is fine i don't want to found a city no thank you okay what can we build a mint for more money uh, i mean it's a solid idea it's not not Ooh, I don't like that. That's an army. We don't know what, but that's an army. So instead of... We do have the Chrono Gate. Oh, man. What do we do? Let's build some army units, something. Just something to Im improve this here. A, a wild speaker. A defender and an archer. That's our gold allowance for now. And we will summon a wild animal on this army to reinforce it. It's not much, but there you have it. All right. Phasing enchantment. Yeah, so they can teleport in battle. We have a bunch of them. Though it costs us mana upkeep, obviously, to have that, because everything nice always costs mana. Right, this army isn't red anymore. Why is it not red anymore? It's a little bit confusing. Okay, we're looking at our coastline. If there's enemies on the horizon, there's an enemy army with quite a bunch of powerful units to come and reinforce this here. That's not too bad for him. So let's bring our banner man closer. They're definitely not gonna be enough, but well. We could summon ourselves a copper golem to add to our siege here. And I think we will. And a wild animal on top of that on next turn. We'll just reinforce like oh a monolith. Not even gonna question what we're gonna build. That is what we're gonna build, a monolith. Right there. Alright. This here is two more turns. Production here. Oh, yes, another monolith. Honestly, we, we have the mana now, don't we? Would I rather have troops? Mm, nah, I don't want to fall into the mana trap again. But we also need money. Okay, these ones are going to build a mint, I think. And you can annex another province. And what do we want? Oh, let's take the big farm. Because it's it's so juicy. Treaty has expired. Oh, no. The truce has expired. Um, hello. Uh, would, you, would you like to? No. You don't like us. Not too much, anyway. 
I can't do a declaration for, for friendship or anything. We can't really afford that. Um, another ruler was denounced. An infestation is invading stuff somewhere. Doesn't really count or matter for us. Alright, let's turn. Yep. Okay, I didn't, I didn't watch. I didn't watch carefully enough. So they used, uh, they moved up with all their armies, all their heroes, and we cannot retreat. Uh, so in this case, um, we are kind of doomed. We're going to do an auto b combat. It's, it's going to lose. Uh, the reason we didn't see them is because they're all kind of hidden. <sighs> We're definitely losing here. That wasn't good. Yep, yep, yep. And we didn't take anything good. Well, we took a few good things, but they utterly destroyed us. Big bad army just gone on our end. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to retry this because I will just live with the shame. Okay, what 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 is this now? Uh, the young scribe's words, relict, form alive, whatever. But, uh, we were... I defended my vassals against an invading withered king. You gain a bannerman. Uh... Um, I want the Imperium. Oh no, another war. Oh man. Okay. Why are these also warlike? I really don't understand this. Okay, they're not gonna take peace for us. Ah oh, boy, we, we, oh no. Oh boy, okay, alright. Okay, alright, okay. I know I'm repeating myself at this point in time, but they're probably going to come to either of these cities. So we got to build up and we got to build in a way where we get things on the field quickly. That's really what we're going to do. So let's get... Do you have any weaknesses at this point? I know you didn't in the past. Are you weak to anything? No, not that I can tell. Fire, bright, frost, shock, everything. So physical is probably best against these. Uh, let's build some knights if we can afford them. Yeah, well, we can afford one. All right, that's not good. Uh, this army immediately retreats. Uh, we can't afford a hero either because, well, that wasn't good. Ah, oh, man. Let us summon a wild animal on top of this boy and hope it's a level 2 one. Nope, definitely not. Uh, we could build the... Yeah, let's build it just because it gives us 10 gold on, on the next turn. Ah, yes. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Lucky I didn't start rebuilding this stuff. Because it's all going to be taken down now. Uh, where are they going? Well, either of these cities is where they're going. But that's okay. We'll bring our main army after we've taken this thing out. And... Cinderhold was taken. And we will vassalize them, I think. And we will also take out the root of nature over there. Which is important for a science victory. The underground passage here comes there. So I'm assuming they're going to come for that and try and fight us down here. That's what I'm assuming. That's what I think where he's sending his troops right now. If you look at this, he's going for the underground passage. That would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense. All right, we'll still build up this force here and we see if we can't recruit a hero. Um, all the good ones we can't afford. Good stuff. How far? Okay, well, we have to wait another turn and we can't spend any. Or well, we could spend, but we actually would like to have a decent hero there. Uh, do we build the Smithers Guild? So we... 
Is our hero dead or captured? Captured. So we'd have to take out Harperton to get her back. Oh no, she's dead. Just not in our area dead, okay. So what do we do? Big questions, big questions. Well, we definitely have to defend our homelands, especially since there's this thing coming now, which is gonna cause trouble for us. I think we're gonna do another turn. And... Ah, we should build something. We need troops quick, so we'll build this. A hero leveled up. Oh, okay, boy. You're not a lord of anything yet? Okay. Then we'll make you lord of production. Probably a good idea. And you need... You get some defense. You are a close-ranged combat shield person. You're actually quite well equipped, honestly. I don't know why. I didn't give you that. Oh, let's give you a dread spider. This is better than your pig. All right. And we know that, we know that, we know that. So we'll end our turn here. And see whether or not he comes for us. Well, no. So we will come for him then. Can we, is the big question. Do we have enough movement? I think we do. Okay, uh, real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to summon a wild animal right there. <laughs> we're going to use this to take out the root of nature. Alright, okay. Big moment of truth here. And our last army. Alright, can we fight them? We do have the numbers. Very good. We only lost an archer. And we got his leader. Which does weaken him for a bit. So now we can take care of these other invaders here. Oh, we can't really reach this one. But that's alright. And we can bring up our reinforcements here. And reassemble our armies slightly. And you have your orders. Well, you're actually gonna go sit on top of Cinderhold because there are some armies of his coming. And then we can go back on the underground passage and attack him down here again. That's my plan at the moment. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something uh, from my distressed ramblings about how terrible everything is and how much in danger we are. Um, hope to see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.